Hello everyone, i got another video for you guys. Uh, my name's Larry and I'm calling this channel Insane for Zippos and Pipe Collecting. Uh, that's subject to change. Uh, looking for a better name if we can come up with one. But give me a like, give me a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll, I'll keep posting uh, and hopefully we can grow this channel. But I wanted to make this video to talk about where you can get your pipes repaired. So I went on to Walker Pipe Repair and they had a note there saying that Mike Myers is no longer repairing pipes. He has retired. So I'm super excited for Mike, but dang, it's disappointing. He, he did such a good job repairing pipes. So what I thought I would do is still talk about a few of the pipes that he has repaired for me. And I've only had two major work done and this pipe here is a Dunhill. Uh, you can tell by the white dot right there on this pipe. And I think it's got this band. I think it's been repaired before. I don't know. And the reason I say that is it's got a patent number on there and it's kind of cut off. And you, you can see the Dunhill and then the patent number's right there, but then it's kind of kind of cut off. So I'm thinking someone else may have repaired it because it was so damaged. Uh, but you can see right there i don't know if the can the light or the camera just that little crack right there it had that crack and then the bowl was cracked and you can kind of see it a little bit in little places but man he done such a good job i have smoked this once or twice and i have used uh, my carbon carnuba wax excuse me <laughs> uh and, and try to soften up this briar some and get it where it would stop cracking. And I think it has. And it's it's been this way for five years. So I've got a friend that dad smoked a pipe. He never smoked a pipe. Uh, his dad passed away. So his dad gave him one of his pipes, left it to him. So he tried smoking it, didn't like it. Uh, tried it again. Was smoking a little bit. Put the pipe in his pocket. Of course, when he sat down, it broke. And this is the pipe here that I sent to Mike and it broke right there. The mouthpiece just snapped right off into the stem there. But if you look, he made this pipe look absolutely brand new. And this is a Salvinelli. And it's their Canadian version. And it's got a it's got an oval stem, which which I, I really like. I really like smoking this pipe. So that's, that's that. So something else I can go over and show you since I'm not going to be able to share any more information on Walker's pipe repair. This is a Viking pipe I got here and something, let me get rid of that, that happens to pipes as to the stems as you smoke them and they get old. You're going to get scratches. You're going to get teeth marks and you can see how it oxidizes. So I wanted to show you how you can repair that yourself without having to send it off. If, if, if you want to, huh? I find it easier just to do simple things like that yourself. But now, if, if you smoke your pipe a lot and you don't let it rest and you don't keep it clean, it will get a sour smell. And it's bad when that happens. You, you have to send it off then. They make, they make this pipe freshener, and you can see I've, I've used it. Uh, when it starts getting that sour smell, I'll use this. But once it gets past that point, you can just forget it. You're going to have to send it somewhere and get it professionally cleaned. So what I do when I want to clean my mouthpieces, go get you some P1200. And this is polishing sandpaper. Waterproof. It's what, this is what this is for. Now, if you, if you use any grittier sandpaper you can rub a hole in your mouthpiece and you just want to go over it real lightly just rub it rub it rub it don't grind on it now if you've got a dremel tool you can do this with the dremel tool but you just be careful you'll rub a hole straight through it then you're getting a new mouthpiece and then if you got the dremel tool or you've got a polishing wheel and I like polishing wheels with two sides because you got the 
the oxidizer and the polish. You want to use each buff, each little wheel, each polish on each little wheel. So you want to take a towel or a rag and just kind of get the dust off, wipe it off. Still looks bad, right? And and I wasn't going to do this because my products have dried out, but I, I think I can make them work. And I don't know if you can see this. This is what it is. And I got it from Walker Pipe Repair. I don't know if I can still get this stuff from them. Uh, hopefully I can get it somewhere else. Uh, I may have to give Mike a call and see. Maybe they've got some laying around. Uh, I can get pretty cheap. So take your soft cloth or your towel. Get some of this oxidizer on there and just rub it in. I'm gonna to have to, when I get through doing this, I'm gonna to have to disappear just for a minute because when you're done doing this, you don't wanna put it in your mouth. You wanna polish it, but you wanna get it off. You don't, you don't want this in your mouth or anywhere close to your mouth. So you can already tell it's starting to look good, but it's gonna, it's gonna take more than this, but I just wanted to show you a little bit because it's gonna, it's, it's would take me sitting here Way longer than you want to sit here and watch me do it. So I'll be right back. Just, just, just a minute. Let me go wash this off. Okay, thanks for being patient. And just make sure you get that dried off, okay? Now, you can tell my wax is just pitiful, but I believe I can definitely make it work. Find me a clean spot on the towel here and just rub me some on there, okay? And then you want to take and just rub your stem down really good. Okay. And it's hard for me to see what I'm doing. With my, the stand I use to record, it kind of covers the screen a little bit, so it makes it a little difficult to see exactly what I'm doing. But you can tell, and it still needs a little work, but doesn't that look a hundred times better than it did? So you can do that. All you've got to do is order this stuff. Uh, I'll have to look online and try to find a link. If I can find it uh, somewhere else, we can get this. I'll post it. Uh, or if you know where you can get it, where do you get yours? Let me know so I can stock back up and get newer since this is a little dried out. Not really what I want. And uh, I really didn't spend enough time talking about this pipe and I should have and and how I come to get it because as a lot of most of you know if you're just now getting in the, in the pipes you'll find out real quick Dunhill is expensive and extremely expensive and I do have another Dunhill I've got two I've, I've been lucky enough to get two but I was looking when I was getting into pipe collecting I was looking in on eBay and there was a nice lady on there she had 400 pipe lot that her dad had and he passed away and she was looking for someone as she said that would love those pipes as much as he did but she knew nothing about pipes didn't know their value but she had she had a huge price on it and it was probably worth it somebody probably helped her come up with that price but dude dude I, there's no way i could pay for those those 400 pipes so I just sent her a message and asked her, uh, told her what I was looking for. I was really looking for two pipes. I was looking for a panel pipe, which you can tell, that's, that's what this is. And I wanted a Dunhill, but I didn't want to break the bank. You know, did she have any low-end Dunhills and, and possibly a Dunhill panel? 
Well, she emailed me back and said she didn't want to split any, take any out of the 400. It, it had to go as a lot, but she had 15 or so that needed repair. And I could have them if I was willing to try to repair them or send them off to be repaired. So uh, I, I knew walkers could fix them. And I told her to send pictures and I would tell her the ones I would take. And then she came back and said, no, I want you to just have one. Because my dad said it was very important pipe because it had the patent number on it. That's right there. She said, he said, told her it was very old and very important that somebody restore this pipe. And he showed her the, the cracks and everything. So she sent me pictures. I sent them to Mike Myers. He said he could definitely try to fix that pipe or this pipe and that's why I sent it to him and he fixed it and, and I think it's just beautiful uh, and it smokes well I have smoked it but I, I also I don't know when's the last time I've done it I should have already done it just I keep it polished just to try to keep a little bit of moisture in this pipe and to keep it from cracking but I quit smoking it because I was scared it was going to get too dried out and start cracking again so I stopped and I've rambled on enough so I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to do another video right after this one and talk about this little gem here I found. Uh, so that's how I'll try to do this channel. I'll try to go from pipes to Zippos. Uh, if it goes one way or the other, that's the direction we'll take the channel. Uh, just whatever you guys want, but I need some subscribers. So like and subscribe and tell your friends. Bring them aboard. See you guys.